these are the small doors that I showed in the previous video being clamped up. We use this loose tenon method and we've got some joints that are less than perfect but they'll be filled because these will be painted doors. They'll also receive a mitered moulding around there. They've got relates where they meet and a beaded detail which matches the beading on the frame here. Here's one of the other frames. The way we've done that is using a pocket hole joint, the moulding routed into the upper and lower piece, so that was routed straight into the solid piece. And just using the mitre saw, I did a, a straight cut and then a little, little mitre cut on this piece. For the, the verticals, the styles, I, uh, I, I routed and then ripped off that strip so that I could simply uh, cut it straight and butt joint it. And then I've pinned that, I pinned that back on. So when it's all painted up, you've got exactly the same effect. Now we don't usually do doors this way for alcove units. We used to do it a lot, and I, every job I would be trimming the doors to fit the frame. We now take a different method where the frame is more of a loose fit of uh, separate strips, which allows us to make the door very square and then fit the, the frame parts to the door. This job demanded this method, so we're back to trimming the doors to fit within the frame because the frame becomes a fixed point. So uh, to trim it, what I've done is I've, I've put the two doors together. I've got my gap the way I want it, where they meet, where they overlap. That's about two millimeters. And then I've dropped the frame over it. So I made these, I made these so that together they're about a millimeter undersized to the frame. They want to end up with two millimeter gaps all round. So the millimetre undersized meant they were just small enough for the frame to fit over them, but it gave me a bit of adjustment for where there's a bit of out of squareness, like you see here. I can then bring that back in, which I'm doing using two millimetre packer, a sharp pencil, and I'm just putting the point of the pencil against that and running it all around the frame. What I'll then do is use the rail saw um, with extraction and I'll just I'll cut those bits off and this is an improvement on the way we used to do these years back before I had all this equipment I'd be I'd be planing them down with a power plane but uh, the rail saw is quite a lot quicker and easier really when you've got a line to work to so once that's done these doors will fit and for this project we're not we're not using butt hinges because the customer was quite keen not to see the, the hinge knuckle customers just vary on this really so although we've made the frame out of wood uh, we decided to do the doors out of it's a high grade MDF it's a deep grout grade of MDF uh, because it will it will paint very well and they will stay flat and stable at this this 18 millimeter thickness uh, probably better than than the solid wood so that's my job for this morning and then I will be going to do some paperwork, seeing customers and leaving these two guys to carry on with the makers.